This is a typical one of the typical problems for which we are going to construct CFG. Now here the problem definition says that A B C A followed by number of A's followed by number of B's followed by number of C's such that K is equal to I plus J. That means the number of occurrences of A plus number of occurrences of B will be the number of occurrences of C. And I and J can be 0 or greater than 0. That means I, J may be there, may not be there. If I and J are not there, C will not be there because C is nothing but I plus J. There can be a possibility that I can be 0, J can be there. So based on that C, number of occurrences will be put. And there can be a possibility that J may not be there. I can be, J can be 0, I can be any positive number. Okay, based on that, C's count will be there. Now let us first frame the language set L. So possible strings can be, suppose if B, number of B's are 0, it can be AC. If number of A's are 0, it can be BC. It can be A, B, C, C. Number of occurrence of A plus number of occurrence of B, which is nothing but two times occurrence of C. It can be A, A, B, B, C, 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 C. Now two times A, two times B, so four times C. And it can be A, A, A and C, C, C. That is also possible and so on. Now <coughs> looking at the language set, it is very clear that for every A there is a C and for every B there is a C. So let us just recall our previous discussion regarding designing CFG. There we had came across one kind of solution which says for every A there is a B. Now the difference is for every A there is a C, for every B there is a C. So based on this particular constraint or condition we can design CFG. So let us start designing CFG. First start state, yes. Now for every A there is a C. Similarly for every B there is a C. And this recursion has to be stopped at a certain point of time. For that we can make use of epsilon. So this is the simplest, a typical solution for a typical problem. Now let us derive one string, one particular string and cross verify whether we have framed the proper CFG or not. For, let us take this string, okay, let us take this string, that is yes, we need 3 A's and 3 C's. So first rule we can apply, that is A S C, A A S C C, A A A S C C C. Now replace S by epsilon, you get the required string. And similarly we can take one more string which is a mixture of all these letters, that is A A, this one, A A B B C C C. Now since it starts from a starts with A. Let us apply the first rule that is A, yes, C. Once again, there is one more A. We can have one more application of the first rule C. Now then it starts with B. So we can apply the second rule A, A, B, yes, C, C, C. There is one more B after this B. So we can once again apply the second rule that is. A, A, B, B, S, C, 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 C. Now that we have got our string A, A, B, B, C, 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 C. Now we have to stop this recursion. That is, we have to replace this S by epsilon. So when I replace this S by epsilon, we get the required string. So this is how we can put solution or we can construct CFG to address problems like this. Thank you.